Uh, well, not exactly how we drew it up uh, with Brett coming out there in the third, um, but we knew it would be a close game. We, we anticipated it would be 3-2, 4-3, 5-4, somewhere in that area. It's exactly what it ended up being. Um, Andrew Abbott, guy's going to pitch in the big leagues very, very shortly. Um, we knew what we were getting with him, and I think I think our guys did a really nice job against him. Uh, five and two-thirds, four earned runs, and only six strikeouts. Uh, we knew we had to have that kind of approach, and and I'm really pleased offensively. Uh, and then Bosnick and Lloyd coming in there late were just huge for us, huge. David Kleininger with the first question. Hey, Mark, thanks for doing this. Um, just a, the first uh, reaction to how Brett's doing. Is it possible he could maybe come back for the, the weekend? Yeah, yeah, it was it was pure. Uh, it's just a muscle cramp in his neck. It's not arm related. It's not anything other than he woke up this week, uh, uh, slept on it wrong, and he just cannot turn his neck fully. So, uh, you know, the, we, we knew uh, early in the game his stuff was not what it normally was. It was it was clear when he looked up on the scoreboard and the normal 93s and 94s were 88s and 89s. It was clear uh, that he wasn't himself today. So we were going to try to get as much as we could out of him because you know, he's he he at 80, 90 percent is still really good and can get and find ways to get outs. But we also knew we, we wanted to manage it in a way that we could bring him back with a couple more days of rest. So that's what we did. He got to 50 pitches, probably will not be available tomorrow. Um, but, you know, good chance he could be available later uh, in the tournament. Cam Gaskins. Coach, you've talked a lot about this team's fight all season long after that sixth inning. Just what else can you say about this team's grit and determination with their backs against the wall? Again, I've never questioned it for a second. I uh, never have. I don't know if anybody else has, but I've never questioned it for a second. This team wants to win. It has a will to win. Um, does not panic if we fall behind. And that sixth inning obviously was huge for us. Um, some big hits, some big at bats there. And uh, obviously we needed it. it. Getting Abbott out of the game at that point was huge for us. Uh, and the big hits obviously were the difference in the ball game. Colin Taylor. Mark Desai is obviously a guy that's had his documented struggles over the course of his career, but just how nice is it to see him come through in that big moment and deliver for you guys when you needed him? It was the biggest hit of the game, obviously. Um, biggest hit of the game, and Seitler is one of our leaders. He's one of our character guys. Uh, he bleeds Gamecocks, uh, and he's worked really hard to put himself in this position. Uh, it's taken him a long time to, to get to the point where we can use him uh, in our lineup and as a starting player. But he put in the time, uh, and now he's getting rewarded for all that hard work. Dick Cox. Coach, what was your thoughts going into the ninth inning, knowing that you had to, to face the Jalop brothers who had been a thorn in your side all day? Yeah, you knew it wouldn't be easy. It's not easy in the postseason. Uh, it's just not going to be. And you knew the last out of the game could potentially be a guy that was three for four and had already hit a home run. So. Uh, Hats off to Danny Lloyd. Uh, generally, once he gets past the two innings is when we start to kind of get a feel for, uh, you know, is it time to hand the ball off? But he was just pitching so well, had such good command. And, uh, you know, we just we felt like Danny was was the guy to close out that game. And, and he did a very nice job with it. Ben Portnoy. Mark, you mentioned Julian and, and Daniel, you know, guys like that who, you know, were able to extend a little bit today. I mean, first of all, how just how valuable is it to have guys like that? And two, what can you kind of say just about their performance and what they gave you in terms of coming off Brett? Yeah, it's, it's what we needed. Um, again, when you're facing Andrew Abbott, arguably, you know, the top performing pitcher in the country um, and your starter has to go out in the third inning, usually that does not bode well. Uh, but because we had Bosnick to come in there and try to settle it down a little bit and had Danny waiting after him, um, because of the quality of our bullpen and the depth, uh, we still had a chance. And, you know, at that point when Brett came out, you know, you could you could try to bridge it with some guys or you could just say we've got to go all in with our with our top guys. And that's what we did. And obviously Bosnick and Lloyd gave us everything we could hope for. Mike Gillespie. Hey, Coach, it really felt like kind of on TV that, the crowd kind of pushed the momentum in your favor, especially there in the sixth inning. And not only that, but I think they really got to Virginia there at the end too. Just how big uh, was was that in this game today? The crowd was incredible today. And I can't wait to see it tomorrow night. Uh, crowd was incredible. To come out here on a noon, uh, a noon start on a Friday, 
to be that loud, to be that into it. Uh, it was, it was great. We appreciate it very much. Um, like we said earlier in the week, the, the combination of our team getting to experience this, our fans getting to experience this, they haven't been able to do that for five years. Uh, it just makes for a special weekend and, and we want to play the best baseball we can to reward our fans uh, for coming out and then supporting us like they do. Phil Cornblood. Uh, yeah, uh, hey Mark, um, is that the best you've ever seen um, Lloyd pitch? for you since he's been in the program? I mean, it's hard to say, you know, statistically, was it the best in terms of the environment and what it meant to his team? It was obviously the biggest stage and the biggest outs he's gotten uh, under those circumstances. Uh, he's, he's pitched some big games for us, but in terms of a, a regional opener and giving us three innings and, and no earned runs, um, the, under the circumstances, this was his biggest outing. Whether it was his best, that's hard to say, but it was his, it was his most important. John Whittle. Did Joe Satterfield earn a, earn a spot in the lineup tomorrow with his defensive play and his hit? He did a really nice job. We'll have to look at it. Um, but Joe's Joe's always been a guy that's right there, you know, in that in that group of ten or eleven that you're always considering. Uh, do we want to play him? And I thought he gave us a nice little spark there uh, in the game. David Kloniger. Mark, a couple of questions. Uh, one, just how big was it for Burgess to get that go-ahead run, especially kind of picking up, you know, his battery mate and carry there? And two, who pitches tomorrow? Uh, we'll go with Farr tomorrow. Um, you know, regardless of who we play, we'll go with Farr tomorrow night. Um, and his Burgess was great today. Uh, he was really good in all facets of the game. He was really good. He swung the bat well. I thought, again, I thought he looked fresh after getting nine or 10 days uh, of a break. I thought he looked fresh today. His arm was as good as it's been in a long time. Uh, and he, his bat speed looked like it was back today, too. So very encouraging. Colin Taylor. Mark, two questions for you. Just what, why Thomas tomorrow? And um, I guess after that, obviously, I think all four of your runs came with two outs. Is that the kind of situational baseball you like to see from your team from an approach and, and at-bat standpoint? I mean, yeah, that's that, it's what you're always trying to do. And sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you hit it hard and it goes right at a guy. Sometimes, uh, you know, you just, you, it doesn't happen for you. But you're always trying to have quality at-bats, um, whether it's zero outs, one out, or two outs. You're always trying to have quality at-bats. And based on the stages is, is how important they seem. And today, obviously, scoring those runs with two outs felt very important and felt very impactful because it was because it was a big game for us. Um, why we're going with Farr is just Farr's had a really good season for us. He's been he's been better as of late. And again, I think uh, him getting last week off uh, will will rejuvenate him. And, and we're hoping to see the Farr we saw early in the season when when he was very good. Ben Portnoy. Mark, if I'm not mistaken, your first regional just experience here in Columbia, just seeing that and being in the dugout and looking around. I know you mentioned the fans, but, you know, what does that kind of feel like when this place is full tilt and kind of closest to full tilt we've seen it this year? Yeah, it's a tremendous environment. It, it's, I'm so glad that we're at the point now in our country where we're opening the gates up and fan, sports fans are being allowed to be sports fans. Uh, it was a tremendous environment. That, that Park really came to life when we got those big hits in that inning and came to life when we needed some big strikeouts when we were on defense. Uh, that's what it's all about. You know, if you're a sports fan, if you're a Gamecock fan, if you, if you love baseball, uh, days and weekends like what we're doing right now is, is really as good as it gets. Last question goes to Dick Cox. Can you talk about Wes Clark's performance today that hit the ball hard three times, the home run, the double, the last out he made was hard, though, but he seemed to look fresher today, too. Yeah, he he, he was locked in today. Uh, he really was. He was locked in. And again, you know, the, the time off, I think, served a lot of really good purposes for us. Um, got our, our arms fresh, got our bats fresh, got some guys healthy. Um, Malone took some really good at bats today um, there in the in the five hole. Uh, again, uh, it was a calculated uh, risk at the time, but we felt like it was necessary and hopefully it continues to pay off for us. All right. Thank you, coach. All right. Thank you.